Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this. This is a 2015 Jeep Cherokee. Now, this is the sport trim level, and uh, this isn't the cheapest Cherokee you can buy, but it is uh, a very good value. It is a, a low priced uh, Jeep Cherokee. And uh, this one, you know, has the, the sport appearance package, which gives you um, some niceties as far as, like, say, the, the wheels especially. It does have the aluminum wheels versus steel wheels. But I just basically wanted to show you what you can get for a uh, pretty decent price in the Jeep Cherokee. So I'm here in the showroom and um, <laughs> kind of getting dark. So hopefully you'll be able to see some stuff here. Now this one is silver, a billet silver in color. And as you can see here, this one has the, uh, let me push the button here. I can't start it since I'm indoors, but I just want to show you it has the, the running lights here at the top, the side marker, and your headlights are actually down here, and they are projector headlights, halogen projector headlights. There's a good view of the alloy wheels. And I'm going to put all the, uh, basically a uh, copy and paste the whole window sticker in the description of this video. So that way you can kind of get an idea of all the specs and if there's anything I, I missed out you can kind of look in there and, and look it up. So here's the back. Now this one, uh, yeah, there's your exhaust pipe here. You can go ahead and open the back. Before I do that, I just want to show you the sport badge there, if you can see that. All right, so it has a little button down here. Now if you, instead of a handle, it has like a little electric button, and that releases the latch. So back here is your storage compartment, basically your, your cargo area. You've got a, a pocket there, and uh, and now the interior lights are not coming on because uh, it's not running or anything. But uh, typically, you'd have some some lights there. I think that somebody might have turned them off. Let me go ahead and turn those on, so we can see. There we go. There we go. So now we've got some lights to see. So this is your cargo area, and under here is your uh, is just like a storage compartment. I'm gonna go ahead and use this little strap to hold it up. It takes two hands sometimes. All right, like that. So that's holding that up, and the storage compartment comes out. So you can take this whole thing out, and uh, you know you can empty it, clean it, whatever. And underneath there is your tools and your spare tire. I know it's a little dark, but um, hopefully you'll be able to get the idea. So I'm going to drop that back down. You got your lights there, storage compartment here. This bar, um, you can, there's, there's some Jeep sell some stuff that mounts to that bar, like a cooler and uh, different things there. Now this bar comes out, you can unhook it and pull it out, and in case you need some more uh, cargo area, some more width or whatever. So. And then, you know, I think maybe there, they pro there's probably more stuff to that bar uh, that I'm not familiar with, but uh, that's, you know, that's kind of a neat little bar there that you can take out. We've got some luggage racks there on the top. So here's the inside of the back door. You got black interior with like a black and gray mixed interior. This kind of looks like a like a, a fake wood grain, like an ebony wood grain. Here you got soft cloth, soft rubber feel in there. This is soft. It's got some stitching, bottle holder there, speaker. Here's the back seats, and the back seats is where I say it's got some gray and black with some white stitching. And these seats do fold down, so in case you need some more cargo area, if that seat was more forward, this would go all the way down. That folds down, that's your arm resting cup holder.
We've got some vents back here. And it's got some leg room. I mean, it's not a it's not a large SUV. This is a small crossover type vehicle. But uh, you know, in case you in case you need to move the seats, you can actually move those forward a little bit. It's hard to do with one hand. But you can move them forward and back. And that's more useful for like adding some more cargo space in the back with some smaller passengers. Alright, so here's the inside of the driver's door, and you've got a speaker there, bottle holder, and you also have your, your door lock controls, power windows and side mirror controls, standard headlights, no automatic as far as that goes, standard seats as far as like manual adjustments, and they are very comfortable. These are really comfortable vehicles, the Jeep Cherokees, I really like them, and uh, if you're not, if you don't have any experience with them then uh, I would I would definitely recommend taking one for a test drive of course you can go to any dealership and just bust up in there and say hey I want to take one for a drive and uh, I'm sure they'd be glad to do it because uh, this is a new style vehicle that just came out 2014 and it's gonna be around a while and uh, so the, the Cherokee and the Chrysler 200 and uh, is kind of based on the same frame and stuff so they have some you know some similarities there so here I am and I don't want to start it but I can take the key let me find the key I have in my pocket and I can just kind of turn it on like so so just so you can see what it looked like if it was running there's your gauges there now here on the steering wheel you got your cruise control there's no button on the back some of them have buttons on the back but there's none it does have your uh, vo Bluetooth um, voice recognition there's your gauges and uh, let me go here and kind of scroll through using these buttons here on the left side of the steering wheel I'm kind of kind of right now it's a speedometer I'm going to kind of scroll through and you know, right there is vehicle info. I'm going to scroll to the right and get different temperatures and pressures and information there. Scrolling down, fuel economy, trip info. Gives you your distance, your average mile per gallon, and your time. Audio messages will be there. Screen set up. It's all kinds of different things like right here as your temperature out, outside of the vehicle, which we're inside us. Inside, so it's not that cold, but northwest that's where the vehicle's facing <clears throat> so you can change those things to like say distance to empty or something like that if you wanted to scroll down and it scrolls back to your speedometer so you got some options there of what you want to see um, between the gauges of course you have your your tachometer and your your speedometer and all that good stuff anyway and this is your fuel gauge on that side your temperature gauge right here windshield wiper controls are here your lights as far as dim or, or brights are here and also your turn signal <clears throat> now here's your radio right here's your radio um, it has AM, FM and satellite radio of course it's not getting a signal for the satellite and inside the building media uh, you can connect a USB auxiliary or an SD card or a Bluetooth device to this vehicle and play music. Your connectivity, your connections are down here. SD card, it's right behind the shifter. So, really easy to get to it. What's cool about the SD card is you could just put a whole bunch of songs on there, like a hard drive, and plug it in and just play music forever. Same thing with the USB, I guess, but uh, it's pretty neat. So there's that. Now, going here to the next one where it says. Uh, your phone you can push you know like this is where your, your phone screen would be and once you pair a phone you'll have your Bluetooth and your recent calls you can actually push that button and you know make calls with a, a keypad you can also transfer it back to your cell phone if you want to have like a private call right here is compass is basically that's all it is is a digital compass it gives you the regular compass look plus a just way the way your vehicle is facing so right now we're facing northwest 
settings you can change different settings you know change the clock and all that stuff more button gives me outside temperature but also it gives me this option to have this large clock here just in case I'm you know driving along and I need to really <clears throat> focus on the time like running late for work or whatever then uh, that kind of you know puts the, the time front and center on the screen so down here your volume button tune through the stations you can always turn the screen off if it's distracting you you always can touch it to turn it back on down here is a cubby hole climate controls are down here temperature fan speed where you want the air to blow uh, your four-way flashers are here and your traction control you can it's default on but you can turn it off if you want to and it gives you a little indicator that little yellow indicator there that is being turned off and there's your connectivity and little pocket here put some stuff little pocket right here and here's your shifter now basically it's a nine speed transmission so you could put it in reverse drive like that now if you wanted to manually shift through the gears you just slide it to the left and then that way you can cycle through the gears the way you want it and um, so that's pretty cool your parking brake is here And if you try to move the vehicle with the doors open or something, it's going to cinch this down. It's not going to let you drive around with the doors open, all the way up. And like, um, so that's something to be aware of. Uh, sometimes when we're moving vehicles in, on the lot here, sometimes we'll quickly get in it and we have the door open and try to move it. And of course, this uh, will cinch down and we'll just kind of stop and not go anywhere. It's kind of like a safety feature. So, Cup holders are there, a little pencil holder there. All right, so here's your center console here. It's an armrest as well. It is has a, it is pretty soft and it has some stitching there. And this lifts up, and you've got this big old pocket and a power supply. You also have a USB charger in here. I don't think that one actually connects to the radio in any way. I just think it's just for a charging capability. And this pocket has these little uh, spaces here for wires to exit the pocket this uh, the storage bin so that way you can um, you know you can run wires in there and plug them in but uh, that's the large bin this has two um, little pot little buttons here I guess you could say the top one is a small one it gives you a small little pocket and uh, I guess you could put a cell phone or whatever in there and it also has a little place to put wires in and out so you could put your cell phone in this compartment lift it up run the wire down to the bottom compartment plug it in and charge it and it's completely out completely out of the way and the wires will stay out of the way as well huge glove compartment it goes all the way back if you ever sit in one uh, try to see if you can touch the back of the glove compartment it's pretty far back there it's pretty interesting this is a little storage space and uh, so you want to not put anything in there long term that's going to be heat sensitive because it's you know of course dashboards get very hot <coughs> excuse me now up here is your rear view mirror and it has a little flippy thing for day and night on top of the rear view mirror is these little bumps and they are your microphones for your bluetooth system these are let me shut the door here these are tap lights actually you turn them on independently or they come on with the door open like you saw and there's a place to put your your sunglasses in here and it is a rubber on the inside versus like some of them have foam I'll to open the door so you can have more light again here's the visor it has mirrors and lights same thing on that side See what it looks like back there like rear view alrighty so let's look underneath the hood and see what's under there I'm going to go ahead and turn this off
right, under here is a little little latch there to the right of the center. You can see it right there. But there's the multi-air 2.4 liter engine, four cylinder. And uh, can't start it because we're in, indoors. But I don't know if you notice, there's some stuff that's yellow. That that there is yellow and the little dipstick is yellow. So that way this kind of draws your attention to the different things that you can check on your own if you don't really know a lot about vehicles. Insulated battery helps makes it makes it last longer because you know the batteries are heat sent or cold sensitive, like the you know when it gets too cold, that's when a lot of batteries go out. Alright, so there you have it. This is a uh fairly inexpensive uh, Jeep Cherokee. I want to show you the window sticker. <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to have this copied and pasted in the in the description. You can see all this, the standard equipment there that continues up here and then you have the optional equipment here to list it out. All right, there you have it. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comment section. If you have any comments or if you have any experience with any of these with any of these Cherokees, uh, please share your experience, whether you like it, don't like it, whatever. Also, I just want to mention um, that I started a new playlist on my channel. It's not my videos, but it's a cool driving music playlist. So it's some music that I like to listen to while I'm cruising on the highway. Uh, with the radio blasting so check it out um this is pretty cool interesting music on there and uh so to let me know what you think of that as well all right thanks for watching see you next time